What's up guys, Hunter's Trophy here, and today I have a brand new video, and I'm going to show you guys how to get an exotic sword in the new Destiny Taken King DLC. So, so far in the Destiny Taken King, you, as you can see on screen, I have a sword. Now this sword is the Arc Sword. The Arc Sword can be attained by collecting, I believe it's 25 Haldium Flasks, I believe that's what they're called. And as you can see, you're probably wondering, why am I in the Cosmodrome looking for spin metal? Well, after you complete the quest and fully upgrade the sword, so either you can fully upgrade it with bounties or you can use Motes of Light. I just use Motes of Light because I wanted to get my sword up fast. And once you do that, Lord Shax will give you a quest to complete, you know, kill guardians, kill minions of darkness, stuff like that. Once you complete that, he will give you an exotic, excuse me, he will give you an exotic bounty quest called the Sword Reforged Exotic Quest. What you have to do is you have to collect essential elements. So for the soul, the soul edge or the solar edge, you need to go collect helium filaments on moon. Since mine is the arc edge and I prefer the and I prefer the arc sword, then that means I need to go collect spin metal. Now they cannot be from spin metal in the chest. They have to be from spin metal around the map. So as you can see, what you guys want to do is you want to load up the Cosmodrome and run around this area for about in a, in a counterclockwise or clockwise. Uh, motion it doesn't really matter and after that you want to go all the way to the moth yard so I'll show you and the special element spawns it has a 5 to 10 chance to spawn and sometimes it goes after collecting 10 and I don't mean 10 spindle I mean going up to it so say that you go up to one of them and you get two uh, spin metal well that would still count as one because you're only collecting technically one from that one location if you guys know what I mean it's really easy if you put the Brave Shell Ghost on so you can track Spin Metal if you're doing the Arc Edge. Completing this quest will give you the Arc, the exotic Arc uh, weapon, that, except the only problem is you won't be able to obtain it until the next Arms Day. That's the only catch about this. So as you can see, I'm heading over to the Marth Yards right now, and once you are done collecting 10 of these, which in other words, you need to collect somewhere around 100, at least 100 Spin Metal, that's just including the minimum so at the end of this I had 300 spin metal so you're probably gonna do this for guaranteed I would say a good possibly an hour or maybe 30 minutes it all would all depend on how lucky you are it has a like I said it has a 5 to 10 percent chance to drop so I guess we'll see that I wish you guys the best of luck in farming this this isn't really that hard and that's one of the steps there are two steps to this bounty right here once you complete the planetary materials, you will need to kill minions with arc damage. Now, if it was the solar sword, you'd have to kill them with solar. If it was the void, then it'd be void. You can do it with whatever ability you want. Personally, this is what I would recommend you doing. Blade Dancer with arc, Sun Singer with, or Hammer of Soul with solar, and then void with uh, Void Walker. So as you can see, I got the 10th material right there on screen. And now I'm going to show you guys the best mission to farm for arc ability kills. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just putting on my Blade Dancer, as you can see. And I'm going to put on everything that... So I'm going to put on the one that makes me spin around and does a lot of damage. Every time I get a kill, it extends it faster. And I'm just going to put sliding on and whatever and stuff like that. And if you have another Mask of the Third Man, I would highly recommend putting that on. And also put on Blink Strike resets immediately after the cooldown. It has a 5 second cooldown. And I'm just putting on that Mask of the Third Mind just so my arc ability lasts just as long. Also, I'm 293 light without the raid, which is actually pretty good. If you guys want, you can also bring in a bad juju to help you out here. It kind of speeds up the process if you want to do it that way. I would highly recommend doing it with that. Like I was saying, so if you want to do this fast, I would recommend doing Blade Dancer with arc. And then store, and then I would not use Stormcaller for the Warlock. I'd use Voidwalker for the Warlock. And then I would use Hammer of Soul for the titan it would just speed up the process and make this thing a whole lot easier and then for s the void one i believe you need either spirit bloom or relic iron which is going to be pretty hard relic iron is hard to come by especially on mars without the chest uh farming location so yeah once you load up siege of the war mine as you can see i also brought my bad juju this shouldn't take long just load it up and you know, start killing enemies, get your super up. So as you can see, I'm going to show you guys very quickly on how I did it in a uh, quick motion. So you can either, at the very beginning, use the bad juju to get uh, it up, or you can use, uh, or you can just keep knifing them. 
Another ability that I'm going to show you guys right now is the hands-on ability, I believe that it's called. And what it does is every melee attack that you do, it does increased damage. Or not increased damage, more super energy towards whatever your super is. So you want to put that on for Masco Third Man. And I'm just dwindling their health a little bit. Knifing them. That didn't kill them. See, as you can see, the Blink Strike one goes up really, really fast. And you have to have Blink Strike on. You can't just knife them because it won't count as an arc ability kill, technically. So as you can see, I'm I'm just going to show you guys. This method should get it up to 7 to 10% every time you activate your arc ability or every time you do this. So you only have to spend approximately 24 I checked the mission time after this, it was 24, 24, so 24 minutes and, four, and 24 seconds, and it, it didn't seem that long, so roughly 25 minutes if you're doing it fast and, you know, quick like that. It shouldn't take you guys that long to do it, to be honest, and once you do that, you'll be easily be able to finish to the final and next step as soon as you are done with your arc, solar, or void kills. The next step we're going to talk about is the Arms Day Alloys. So Bungie has kind of declared, I guess, war against Guardians, just Guardians in uh, Destiny because they kind of don't want you to get all the exotics at once. So that's that's why you have to wait for a week and wait till the Arms Day packages. So if I were you guys, I would get to getting all the swords on all your characters as fast as possible. I will also post a video on the Haldium flasks on where to farm them very well. It will take you, again, about 30 minutes to collect 25 of them or... Uh, five minutes for ten of them, something like that. I will have to recheck uh, on how to do it. I will also post a video on Wednesday showing the final step on the exotic quest called Sealing the Blade. The task is to defeat Aldeg, the Warden of Oryx, and then Alakul, the Dark Blade, within 30 seconds to steal your soulage. I'm assuming this is a special, special, excuse me, a special strike, just like the Shield Brothers is for the Chaperone exotic shotgun that you get so as you can see guys we're going to go over here and talk to lord shax and once we talk to lord shax he will say now you have to wait for the arms day and then the arms day resets on wednesdays so all we got to do is wait on wednesday and we will find out how i'm going to be able to do this but i'd like to thank you guys for watching i always enjoy making videos i know i haven't made them in a while i've just been trying to acquire new equipment it's not been that hard to get but it's just takes time you know so as you can see, guys, Bench 44 is over there. We're going to have to wait till Wednesday. It's in three days. So that thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you guys get your exotic swords, and I will see you guys on the next video. Adios. And good luck with the Taken King DLC.